big news we are tracking now uh, coming in from Goa where the state po sports minister, I beg your pardon, Ramesh Tawarkar has said that uh, he will not be going to Brazil for the World Cup with the government cancelling that junket. Remember there's a huge public outcry. The government forced to clarify that the uh, ministers and MLAs who were going to go would be paying out of pocket. Uh, but uh, now we're learning that the sports minister has said that he's not going to be going. All right, uh, Shavan Sen joining us on the phone line with more on this. Shavan, there was considerable pressure, but then what is the explanation for this minister cancelling his trip? Because uh, uh, the chief minister had stood by uh, the decision to actually send them on this junket. Absolutely, I don't know. It's almost it's a big embarrassment for the Manohar Parikar government. I just spoke to, uh, to Ramesh Savadkar, the sports minister, a while ago. He's now confirmed that he's certainly not going ahead with this particular trip. Now, he's saying that the government has asked, has cancelled this particular junket. And if at all, if anyone wants to go, will now have to go on their own expense. The fact still remains to remember that earlier this was being defended by the Goa chief minister saying that this is an investment of sorts for the Goa government, especially keeping in mind that football is a, is, is a state game. And this is, this is going to be more sort of a study tour for all the ministers there. And also importantly, it is two of them, two of the MLAs are footballers themselves. And that's the reason why uh, uh, they justified this particular act. But this morning we saw the fisheries ministry, a uh, fisheries minister who did, who was willing to go ahead. Now the sports minister saying that certainly they are not going to go ahead because of the kind of pressure that they were under. Uh, remember, this there was no official statement being made, but now the sports minister admitting that yes, there was considerable amount of, of, of pressure on the government to actually cancel this. The opposition was also demanding that if at all that they are going to go ahead with this particular trip, they will have to now come out in public and say who is actually sponsoring this particular trip. Remember, so the reliable sources were suggesting that at least two of the leading business houses from Goa were ready to sponsor uh, the six MLAs from Goa to, for the trip to Brazil. So this would have been Tawarka's first official visit to a foreign country. From what you're telling us and the fact that he's uh, dropping out and the fact that there's been such a public outcry, it's possible, Shavan, then that the other ministers and MLAs may also be forced or pressurized uh, to cancel their plans. Absolutely, Amrita. At this point in time, we still do not know whether the other five MLAs, which are also includes two ministers from the, in, in the Goa cabinet, whether at all they would be going. But this morning when we spoke to the, fish, the fisheries minister, he certainly was pretty confident that he would be going ahead and this time he would be sponsoring on his own, irrespective of the fact that the kind of pressure that was on uh, Manohar Parikar to actually justify this particular, uh, this particular trip. But uh, we are being, uh, what Ramesh Tawarkar just told, told us a while ago was, the, was that uh, he doesn't know about the rest of the uh, rest of his members in that particular delegation. But as far as he is concerned, he's been strictly told not to go ahead with this particular trip. So certainly, uh, this, uh, the other ministers are also uh, likely to follow suit. But so far, no official confirmation on that. But clearly, the government making a point that there will be no government sponsorship for this particular junket. Not none of them would be getting any money from the, mm. the state uh, state exchequer. Uh, to carry on with this particular uh, study tour as what the chief minister was saying. All right, so the Goa government then forced to cancel that junket, the public outcry there, uh, forcing their hand, it seems. Shavan, appreciate your joining us with all of those updates. And of course, there'll be much more as always on IBNlive.com.